Two webcams from Anker, the budget C200, and the more premium B600. The C200 is capable of 2K resolution and 30 frames per second, and it comes with its really nice inbuilt red privacy cover, which is controlled by the switch on the top. It is completely made of plastic with dual microphones on the front, as well as a white light to let you know when the webcam is active. Air vents are present on either side, as well as the Anker logo on the one side. A USB-C port is on the back for the removable USB-C to USB-A cable, and as this is enclosed by the surrounding plastic, it does offer some protection to the port from accidental knocks to the cable. The rubber pads on the inside allow it to be mounted onto a screen and not cause any scratches. There's no rotation on the head, so it will need to be positioned towards the centre of your screen, but there is a quarter inch thread on the bottom to mount it onto a tripod if you want more flexibility when it comes to positioning. It comes with an adjustable field of view where you can select between 65 degrees, which is the most narrow field of view, where you will be the centre of attention and not much of your background environment will be in the shot. There's also 78 degrees where more of your background will be on display and this will make you appear a little further away from the lens of the webcam but it would be great for getting another person into the frame. And finally there is a 95 degree option where even more of your background will be on display and this would be ideal if you need to get multiple people into the frame for a video call or if you want to move around and still be seen. It can be used in a completely dark room, and this is us sitting in front of our monitors on our PC, so there is some light coming from those. You will lose some frame rate if you begin to move around due to the lack of light, but it is certainly usable. When we're a little further away, we did notice that the autofocus will try and recalibrate itself, so for the best results, you will want some lighting on yourself. Bring in natural light, and it does bring an improvement to the image, and we look crisp when we are close to the lens. Do expect the autofocus to adjust itself when moving towards an away from the lens, but you can prevent it from doing this, which we will show you shortly. When we're sitting in front of our computer, then the autofocus does perform much better. As we are next to the window, then this does make us overexposed, but if you are an OBS user, then you can go to the settings to manually configure this and get a much better final looking result. If you are using bright ring lights in front of yourself, then you will need to manually configure the exposure so you don't look washed out. Changing this allowed us to get a really good looking image and we're looking really crisp. There is still some focus searching, but if you are an OBS user, then you can uncheck the autofocus box, and this will completely eliminate the focus from readjusting itself. Focusing on a small object worked well, with it adjusting quickly to keep the object in focus. We do get a more blurred image if we come two inches or closer to the lens, but anything further than this, and it picked up the focus well. Removing our green screen using OBS, and it did a really good job at removing it. We are overexposed by our bright ring lights, but once again, this can be sorted by manually configuring the exposure, just make sure that your lighting setup for the green screen is better than ours. And comparing it with the inbuilt webcam on our laptop, it's clear to see that the C200 is a massive upgrade with a much more clear image and much better colour representation. The dual stereo microphones have the ability to switch from omnidirectional to directional, which will filter out any noise over 90 degrees, which will result in a much cleaner audio experience. This is what your microphone is going to sound like using the 180 degree omnidirectional setting. This is a microphone test using the 90 degree directional setting. This is the kind of audio you can expect. The Anker Work software can be downloaded and installed, and this will give you the option to downgrade the resolution from 2K. And this is a software which will allow you to change your field of view. But if you find that these are somewhat limited, then you have the option of manually zooming in and using the on-screen keyboard to move the frame to get your desired result. Basic image settings are available to fine tune your image to your liking, as well as the white balance configuration and the option to flip your image. This is also the software you will need to change the pickup mode of the microphone where you can toggle between the 90 and 180 degree modes. The Anchorwork B600 is more your business type of webcam. It comes with an inbuilt light which doubles as your privacy cover and this can be turned on on the side of the webcam or by touching the panel on the front and using your finger to slide up and down to adjust the brightness. There's a whopping four microphones in this webcam and these can be muted by the button on the left hand side. It is very power hungry and it does come with an included power pack to keep it powered up. 
You may find that your computer delivers enough power already, so you only need to use the USB-C cable. But a bit of a heads up, you may need the power pack. The USB-A port on the back is for other Anker products, such as a USB receiver. So you can't run a USB-A cable into this port and into your computer to make the webcam work. It can be mounted onto a screen. The head can be unscrewed, and this allows you to mount it onto a tripod. And there's a full 360 degree rotation on the head beginning our tests in the completely dark room and turning the light on to full and it actually produces a good looking picture. We can be seen, movement is looking good too and comparing it to when we don't have that light switched on, you can see that it does do a really good job. Not as good as using larger ring lights, but it will do the job. Using natural light coming in through the window and it produces another good looking image. We do get some focus searching when we get too close to the lens, but it does deliver a crisp looking picture overall and this is using the widest field of view of 95 degrees and we don't notice any warping to the sides of the image. When we sat right next to the window our face got overexposed. We did try to manually configure this in OBS but it doesn't allow us to do it and there is no option in the Anchorwork software either. So you are stuck with that auto exposure on this webcam using a small ring light on ourselves rather than the inbuilt light and again it delivers a really good looking picture. We didn't notice any issues with it trying to auto focus on us whilst we're moving around which is always a bonus. The colours are looking realistic too. This is the out of the box setting so nothing has been changed. Using our larger ring lights and sitting at our desk and again it produces a crisp looking picture and even though we've got the bright ring lights on ourselves, it seems to handle the auto exposure really well in this scenario. Focusing on a small object performed really well with it recapturing the focus after a second of us moving the little lego character. You will want to keep objects more than two inches away from the lens because if you do come too close then it causes the auto focus to become a little bit erratic. Remove Moving our green screen in OBS also perform really well without us having to move any sliders to improve the image. If you need to move around then it comes equipped with solo framing which will attempt to keep you in the frame providing that you don't go too far out of the shot and this is enabled using the Anchorworks software. In this software there is also the option to change the field of view with the widest being 95 degrees. We can go down to 78 degrees or 65 degrees if you want less of your background to be in the frame. Brightness, sharpness, saturation and contrast can be configured. Controlling of the light is also available where you can adjust the brightness direct in the Anchorworks software and we can also adjust the temperature from a cool light to a warm one. And if you would like to see more Anchor webcams in action then be sure to hit the video that is on screen now.